Welcome to Evening Prayers for Monday the 15th of February 2021. Our theme for this evening is accepting the great salvation freely offered to each one of us. So our call to worship. God is our salvation. We will trust and not be afraid. The Lord is our strength and our might. We will give thanks and call upon his name. Proclaim and exalt the name of the Lord. We will sing praises with joy for great in our midst is our God. The Lord is our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? The Lord is the stronghold of our lives. Of whom shall we be afraid? Sometimes, Lord, we too push out our chest in confidence in you, but we have to confess we have our down and doubting times too. Thank you, Lord, that whatever our mood and our need, you know everything about us and are with us. There are times we feel in the dark, when it really does seem as if you're hiding your face from us. We know you don't want to cast us off, but sometimes we feel as though we almost drive you to it. We know that there are times when we need shelter, when we need to be on our own for a bit, when the cares of the world become too much. But through it all, our heart tells us you are our light and our stronghold, Lord, and we have absolutely no reason to be afraid. Help us to walk an even course, not being frightened of the highs and lows when they come as they surely will. Always realising that living in the beauty of your presence is the most precious gift we could have. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from Hebrews chapter 1 verses 1 to 4 and then chapter 2 verses 1 to 4. Long ago God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets but in these last days he has spoken to us by a son whom he has appointed heir of all things through whom he also created the worlds. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being and he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. Therefore, we must pay greater attention to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away from it. For if the message declared through angels was valid and every transgression or disobedience received a just penalty, how can we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? It was declared at first through the Lord, and it was attested by those who heard him, while well, God added his testimony by signs and wonders and various miracles and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. Over the last week, our prayers have considered some of the issues in which our lives keep us away from God, disagreements between us which separate us, the times when we fail to recognise God in the world around us and how judgment is often used to condemn rather than restore ourselves and others. But we've also remembered the joy of restoration in our relationships with God and each other and the patience of God when it comes to even us and the aroma of Christ which fills our lives when we are one with God. Today our reading challenges us, knowing that things are not yet perfect in the world, but faced with the knowledge of Jesus and the evidence of the unending, 
forgiving, patient love of God, why would we turn from so great a salvation offered to each one of us? Let us pray. God of the wind, you are the breath we breathe. God of the dark, you bring light to our hearts. God of salvation, begin with us. Amen. Our next prayer is a song which is close to my heart because of the group that wrote it and performed it. When I was a teenager and at that age where I was so desperate to cling to God but the world was calling and so many distractions around me, I used to go once a month to a, a school hall where a band called Cutting Edge would play Christian music, they'd preach, we'd pray, surrounded with other teenagers, other people of my age, and it was wondrous. Cutting Edge changed their name over time and became the group Delirious, but the songs have stayed with them. So the song I'm about to share, The Message of the Cross, is one which kept me clinging to God and is one I share with you for your prayers, but also given to you in love. message of the cross that we can be free to live in the victory and turn from our sin my precious Lord Jesus with sinners you died for there you revealed your love and you laid down your this is the message of the cross That we can be free To lay all our burdens here At the foot of the tree The cross was the shame of the world But the glory of God oh, For Jesus you conquered sin and you gave us new life, yeah You set me free when I came to the cross Poured out your blood for I was broken and lost There I was healed and you covered my sin It's there you saved me Hey, this is the message of the cross Whoa. This is the message of the cross That we can be free To hunger for heaven, Lord To hunger for Thee The cross is such foolishness To the perishing oh, But to us who are being saved, yes it is the power of God oh, You set us free when we come to the cross Pour out your blood for we are broken and lost Here we are healed and you cover our sin It's here you save us Yeah, you set me free when I come to the cross Pour out your blood for we are broken and lost here I am healed, and you cover my sin It's here you save me Oh yeah, this is the message of the cross Oh yeah Come to the cross Oh
O King. In subjecting us to your sovereign power, you remind us of our calling to be a single people, united in your name, and we thank you. Jesus, our judge, in subjecting us to your judgment, you remind us of the freedom we have to make our own choices and the responsibility that brings, and we thank you. Saviour, our shepherd, in subjecting us to your oversight, you remind us of our vulnerability and our need of you for salvation and protection. And we thank you. Loving Lord, our King, our Judge and our Shepherd, as we bow before your authority, accept our prayer, our offering of thanks and praise. Amen. And so we share together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And so we are sending out prayer. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ. You have the word of truth, the gospel of salvation, and you have believed. Go and live to the praise of his glory. Amen.